Um, what? Excuse him, Law. What happened here, bro? Now I need to make sure nothing happens, you know? What? Huh? Excuse me? So, um, I wasn't planning on starting my video this way, but... What just happened? Obviously... Oh, I should have kept that. I'm such an idiot. Oh, no. Well, now I have to get all the way back home. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name's Anorak, you can call me Zed. Um, I was about to, you know, make some more golden carrots as they're pretty much my new food source. And, uh, you guys saw all that. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I am incredibly confused. And, uh, I'll need to figure out what happened there. Either way, or let's just follow the tunnel back home. Because, um, I have a sneaking suspicion something about the nether portals broke when I updated the game just now. Because, previously, it had been in 1. yeah, 1.7. Because, you know, that's when we first got the slime stuff, all that, you know? That's when I looked out for the slime chunks, and then in between episodes... Spoilers here, not really. But in between episodes, I got some slime balls, so I was like, oh, alright, nice, I can start my video off there. Um, yeah, something with the nether portals broke. I am not sure what it is, but, uh, nether portal machine broke. I... Why did I even go that far teleporting? Now just to double check, it still works, because I don't know what's happening here. Yep, this is the correct location. I guess I can go back to the overworld now. <sighs> I really don't know what's happening. Okay, so what I was going to show you guys is that in between episodes, I finished up digging out a large part of the slime area and got 13 slime balls. You know? Yeehaw! Fun stuff. Then I was like, hmm, my, carrot, my golden carrots are getting kind of low because I've started using them as a food source now that I have... Some gold, not a reliable farm, yet. I'm gonna do that later. And also, you know, I have carrots. Now, obviously later, I am going to need a much bigger carrot farm, much bigger potato farm, much bigger wheat farm, a much bigger melon farm, pumpkin farm, etc, etc. That's gonna wait till we reach the most recent update. Because I want to wait until we hit 1.18 or so. Heck, maybe even 1.19 once that comes out in order to, you know, actually have time to have all the features we may possibly need to make the farms. That way I don't have to use outdated stuff, you know? It's pretty much why I've avoided redstone so far. And then, you know, stuff keeps happening. Don't know what it is. Hmm. Anyway, we still have quite a bit of time before we get to the more recent updates. So, we won't be getting anything super fancy anytime soon. But yeah, so let's see. You're alright. You're not good. Why wasn't this working? See, I only got one that time as well. I don't know what just happened there. No, do not eat the food. Well, I mean, yes, eat the food, just not right now, okay? So let's see. Alright. It's actually working now. Don't know why it wasn't earlier. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and dig up some of these carrots. And then we're actually gonna set up the simple, simple redstone for our mob farm. So we ended up with 33 carrots. So now it's just 
a matter of mm, gold go. Brrr. Okay, let's go ahead and just start like this. I think that's probably enough, but who knows, honestly. No, it's definitely not going to be enough. Jeez, forgot how expensive these are. Alright, I guess I'm just going to do this and hope for the best. Uh, let's see. Almost. Alright. We have eight golden nuggets now. We might need to go gold mining soon. Ah, no we don't. Never mind. I forgot I had some gold stashed away. <laughs> well, now we have 50 golden carrots, so we aren't going to run out anytime super soon. We have our slime balls. Now, where did I put the pistons? I know I put them somewhere. Uh, I guess I'm just going to have to look through each and every one here. Oh, wait. No, never mind. I'm an idiot. I probably set them upstairs in the mob farm. Alright, let me head up there right now. Alright. Yep, there they are. Our four pistons. So, now, because we have this here, I'm just going to go ahead and it's just this, right? Yeah, we now have four sticky pistons. So all we need now is like redstone, a lever, way to get up here, and probably like a repeater or something. Or, yeah, because you have to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to use a repeater. I don't remember how to make a repeater. I think it's like... It might contain quartz, or that might be the comparator. I don't remember which. But I know it requires redstone torches, so it shouldn't be a problem, because I have an obscene amount of redstone. And quite a bit of wood. And I think it also contains stone or cobble? I don't know. I'm going to actually have to look up the recipe. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, just finished looking it up. The recipe is really easy. Oh, that's gravel, not cobble. I need cobble here for a moment, so... Oh, no. Three... Full. Now I just need to smelt all this. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started on smelting all that and head to sleep right now. I said right now. I swear it is night time. Well, no, no, it's actually not quite, darn it. Okay, never mind. That would have been a cool transition, but uh, never mind, I guess. Anyway, I'll wait for everything to finish up and then I'll go ahead and get everything ready. All right, we now have four redstone repeaters. Gonna go ahead and get way more redstone than I know I'll need. And how do I make lovers again? I think it's, I don't know, I'm an idiot sometimes, man. I don't know what to tell you. I think it's just this, right? Yeah. And now that I have that, it's still a wise decision to go ahead and have a handful of cobblestone on us. And now that it's actually nighttime, I will get to bed. I... I spoke too soon. Yet again. Oh well. You'll just see it once I get everything ready. Alright, so we've made it. Here it is. If you have it open like it is right now, the mobs will fall down here, and most of them will die, but things such as like witches or mobs wearing armor might not. So that can provide a little bit of XP. But if you go up here, turn that on, and wait a little, hopefully mobs will land here and still be alive, in which case we can swing at them. Let's just wait, because I don't know how effective it's going to be compared to down here. Oh. Speaking of which, we already have our first victim. <laughs> Hmm. I, oh no, wait. Did another mob die instantly? I can't tell. I'm gonna have to... Oh. Wait, I have an idea. Perfect. Boom. Okay, so it looked like a different mob died almost immediately, if not immediately. Which sucks, because that means I might have to move the whole thing up. But if we open it, the drops will fall down onto there, in which case they'll be picked up. Hold on. 
Why was that skeleton stuck there for a little? And the spider was climbing. Gonna have to wait for it to come down. Pretty place? You, you gonna fall? No? You suck. Alright, well. Let me open it. Mob. Well, drops fall down. And we can just kill him. We open it up. They fall in. Close it. Now, did sound like a spider got down here still alive. No, they didn't. Nice. I don't like this, though, but uh, we can't really deal with that too much. But if we go back up... Still closed. And there's a spider there that we cannot get. Well, I'm gonna go to sleep. And, yeah. So, that's our mob farm all done and dusted. Hopefully. If I can get the spider to stop being an idiot, but whatever. I wonder, where exactly is the spider? Hmm. Gonna show yourself, or... No? Alright. Too bad. Either way, that's that. So, now, I think I'm gonna disengage that, sit down here for a little to get some drops, and then we'll just continue on with the video. Alright, I think that's enough for just drops. Now I'm gonna try and focus on experience a little. There we go. And now we wait. I seem to have discovered a problem here. I'm gonna drop down. And, yeah. There's the problem. I need to be able to access the other sides as well. Oops. So, I guess I'll go do that right now. Yeah. I'm just going to allow myself to walk all the way around here. Alright, there we go. Now, if need be, I can just walk out here and attack. Still roofed, so that way when phantoms come out, you know, won't have to deal with them. But while I was down there grabbing some dirt for fixing that, found another witch. I encountered this earlier, but apparently, in this version, witches obviously exist. But they make no sound. Like, all the sound files for them are pretty much deleted. So, that's fun and quirky and silly and goofy. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, I forgot to check. Is it day or nighttime? Don't want to wander out in the nighttime. Alright, but then, now that this is all finished, once I go to sleep, I think... I honestly think we're going to start work on the house again, because I keep putting it off, and I really need to get to it. So, now that this is all done, I can go back and use it for, you know, experience and items later. I'm probably going to do that in between videos, if I remember, of course. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything up and get ready for working on the house. So to start with... I'm going to remove that little bit here. I think we're just going to have the roof bit flatter here. And then, over here's the hard part. The really hard part. 
because let me just bridge out a little bit, like over here. No, need to go a little further. The roof is obviously the part that's giving me trouble. I like this little arch here. I don't like that put there. Or this bit here. This bit here is a little better than that, but still. Did not mean to throw that. What I think I'm going to do is lower that. Hmm. No, not that. Jesus, can I please actually do what I mean to do? I think I'm just going to have to do it like this. So, since that's out here, I'd also have to do it like this. So then, but, ah. This is tough. Really tough. Hmm. Because it, like, it doesn't quite look right, you know? Like, let me drop down here. Like, ah. You see what I mean, right? I don't know how to make this look good. Hmm. Ah. And the even worse bit is this little slope thing does not look good now that I look back at it. The roof is just a mess. And I'm going to have to fix that mess. And I don't know how. So if any of you guys have any idea for how to actually work on the roof, it would be greatly appreciated. Obviously, if you don't want to or don't have an idea, don't tell. You know? But I'm just trying to figure out what to do here, you know? So I think I'm just going to go ahead and remove the parts giving me the most trouble. Or the parts that I like the least. And try and figure it out from there. First off... I'm actually... Lovely, thank you very much. Definitely what I intended to do. I... <sighs> this isn't going well. At all. So, first off... So, first off, there we go. I'm definitely going to have that there. I think I'm actually going to lower the both of these wooden beams. And actually, I'm going to lower all of them. They're all going to be the same height. I think that's the best way to avoid a lot of this headache. If need be, I can just use slabs for some bits. And yeah. I think this might make it a little bit easier to work on stuff. Hopefully, anyway. And if not, well, then I'll just suffer. Also, I do want to go exploring a little bit more in a direction we haven't gone, which would be that way. We haven't really gone too much that way, so I think it'd be fun to explore that fairly soon. Alright, so. Now that we're here, I'm going to take down all the scaffolding stuff on the inside, take all the stuff down on the outside, and start planning in my head what I want it to look like a little bit more. Heck, might even start planning it out in a creative world or something, or a duplicate of this or something, you know? And obviously, I'm going to only use blocks that exist in this version of the game. So, yeah. So let's just go ahead, take a step back, and think. I definitely think slabs are the way to go for this part here. The problem comes with the wooden beams. How do I incorporate those into the roof? I can go around them, which will make it look a little bit blocky and funky. I can go directly over them, which, although it would work, it would get rid of... It would, like... It wouldn't really make sense for them to be sticking out that way, then. I'm just not 100% sure. So... Until I figure... Oh, okay. That's what's bothering me. I was wondering what was bothering me this whole episode. It's the clouds. I forgot to change my settings. 
and turn off clouds. Off. There we go. <sighs> Finally. Figured out what was bothering me. Alright. So, figured that out. <sighs> fun, 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 fun. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and extend part of this roof back. Because it will fit over... Oh, no. The roof's a little bit wide in some parts as well. Uh, this is going to be a nightmare to roof. Okay, then. I'm going to just ignore that, pretend I wasn't working on it, and I'll come back to it later. So, let's go ahead and explore instead. Because I'm going to keep putting off this house until I know exactly what to do with it. Alrighty, so, I have all the stuff needed for our new adventure. So, I'm going to hop down in here. We're just going to head off in this direction for a little while. I do have my compass, so I do know roughly how to get home. And from then on, I think we're pretty good. So, I'm going to start a little bit of an adventuring time lapse. So our little bit of a time lapse is already cut short because guess what? We have found new chunks and we can now get andesite, diorite, and eventually granite as well. Well, granite. I don't know why I said granite. Hmm. Guess I was just trying to match it in with all the others. Ah, here's some granite as well. Darn it. Hmm. Alright, and last bit here. Good. Now we have some of each. Obviously not a lot, but you know, better than nothing, right? Alrighty. So, these are some brand new chunks. Much closer to our current generating of... <laughs> Much closer to how the current uh, Minecraft worlds generate, but still, not quite. Anyway, I am going to keep exploring and continue the time lapse. nighttime, so let's sleep under the stars. After this, once we wake up, I'm gonna head right back home. So, let's go! So, I seem to have lost my house, even while using the compass. So, I'm gonna have to pull up my coordinates and compare them to a previous video. So I got a rough estimation. So, let's see. I need to first go to... I need to go in... Yes, this direction. And let's hope for the best. Hey, we found a... Yeah. It just took a lot, as in I literally had to find coordinates in the nether that I had in the last video. Multiply them both by eight to find the coordinates to the house. Oh, wait. There's an enderman. Don't have any enderpearls yet, and we'll need those. But I'm going to try and kill it. Oh, my God. 
I did it, yeah. Got an ender pearl. Now time to keep moving. <laughs> so that is our first ender pearl of the series. And as much as I would love to put it in an item frame and have it saved, we're gonna have to actually use it. Okay. But now that we're actually back home, just need to get to sleep. Alrighty. Now we have woken up and got back home. So we got an ender pearl. We got some new blocks. We explored. We got our mob farm fixed up. Trying to figure out what the heck to do with the house. And uh, overall, I'd say it's a pretty good job. So, that's all for me today. And I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you'll all come back next week for my next videos. But, as I said, that's all for me for today. So, I'll see you again next week. Goodbye!